Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing our image identity series with dramatic. We are going to talk about what constitutes a dramatic in terms of physical body and essence. I think this series is going to be a little bit repetitive on some things, because I know a lot of you are only going to be watching a couple of image IDs that interest you, so I don't want to say something important in just one video and then half of you miss it. But I hope it doesn't get too annoying by the end of the series. There are a couple of things that I'm going to be repeating a lot. Anyway, let's get started with Dramatic, the pure Yang on the Yin Yang scale. The prime celebrity that we have here is John Crawford. Each image identity gets one celebrity that is basically the poster child of that image ID, as I said in the previous video. This is someone who embodies perfectly the body, the essence and the star image of that ID. Every celebrity you are going to see in this video is a verified dramatic. Now let's have a look at what pure young means. In terms of physicality, pure young is sharp, elongated, angular and straight. I think Joan Crawford is a perfect example of all these qualities. You can see it both in her facial features and her body. She mostly consists of sharp angles and long straight lines. When it comes to essence, Pure Yang is bold and striking, regally imposing and charismatic. This can be quite difficult to see in photos, but I think Joan here looks quite striking and regal. At this point, I would like to clear a common misconception about this system, which is that Yang means masculine. The words Yin and Yang in this system aren't used to refer to masculine and feminine, but rather to describe two different types of physical beauty and how they can be combined. For example, you have yang meaning sharp and yin meaning soft, or yang meaning long and yin meaning short. So dramatic and the other yang IDs aren't actually masculine. Moving on to height, it is actually possible to be a dramatic at any height, however it's going to be more rare the shorter that you get, and it's going to be very rare if you are very short. If you are around 167cm or 5 foot 6 and above, you have automatic vertical and dramatic becomes one of your only three choices. The other two are soft dramatic and flamboyant natural. I have made a very in-depth video about vertical that I'm going to link in the cards. When it comes to accommodations, accommodating only vertical is going to be the most likely scenario for dramatics. It is also important to remember that accommodations and image identities aren't always linked one to one. So, there are going to be some rare cases where a dramatic has another accommodation. Now, let's have a look at the physical profile of dramatics. They are sharp young, so sharp angles. Their bone structure is elongated and narrow. This elongation can come from long limbs, a long torso or both. Their figure is straight, they will only have baseline curve. If they are a bit curvy in the conventional sense, the curve won't be going past their frame. It won't be Kibi Curve. I have also made a video explaining Kibi Curve that I'm going to link here. It should appear at the corner of your screen. Here we have a few examples of verified dramatics so you can see a few variations of the dramatic physicality. In the first slide we have Anna May Wong, Michelle Dockery and Claire Danes. I think you can see what straight figure means in this context. They aren't a straight line in a literal sense, but their curves aren't really the main thing about them. And here we have Taylor Swift, Diane Carroll and Kira Knightley. Taylor is a classic example of a tall dramatic with long legs and obvious sharpness. Kira is shorter, but she is a good example of an elongated torso and straightness. Same for Diane, she wasn't very tall, but she was elongated. The faces of dramatics follow the same pattern as their bodies. They have sharp facial bones. They might have high cheekbones or a sharp jawline. Their facial features are elongated and sharp. They might have almond-shaped eyes, a sharp cupid's bow, or an elongated mouth and lips. It's important to keep in mind that the face and the body will always have the same yin-yang balance. It's impossible to have a face and a body that don't match. It's just harder to see the yin and the yang in the face instead of fixating on a few features and possibly misinterpreting them. Here we have some examples of dramatic faces. Cheryl Lee Ralph and Greta Garbo. They both have sharp and upturned features. I notice that a lot of dramatics tend to have a feline look. Not all of them, but it seems to be quite common. 
And next we have Taylor Swift and Katherine Hepburn. I think Taylor has a textbook dramatic face, very sharp. The essence of dramatics is mysterious and majestic, with boldness, charisma and a direct energy. They are one of those image ideas that have a bit of a reserved vibe. The style directive for dramatics is the regal lady. This is basically the image you are trying to create with your style as a dramatic. If you find that your energy doesn't match this essence description at all, or the style directive doesn't make any sense for how you look, it's probably worth looking into other image identities. I chose Kate Blanchett as Galadriel in The Lord of the Rings as an example of the essence. I tried to choose a movie that a lot of you have likely watched. I think Galadriel is a great example of that majestic and regal but a bit reserved essence that dramatics have. Here is the overview of dramatics from Metamorphosis, summing up their physicality and essence. A stunning and majestic physical beauty, made up of a sharp physicality, combined with a very bold and charismatic inner power. That's the dramatic image identity summarized. For the last part of the video, we have some comparisons with image identities that dramatic is often confused with. I think these are usually flamboyant natural and dramatic classic. Here we have Kate Blanchett on the left and Jennifer Lawrence, a verified flamboyant natural on the right. Both are elongated, but dramatics are narrower and sharper. Flamboyant naturals tend to look softer because they have blunt yang, also called soft yang for this reason. The same thing is happening with their faces. Kate is sharper, while Jennifer is softer and more blunt. Another big difference is the essence. Kate has a more striking and commanding type of essence. Jennifer, on the other hand, has a bit of a cool girl but still approachable kind of thing going on. Our next and final comparison is between dramatic and dramatic classic. Here we have Taylor Swift on the left and Lizzie Kaplan, a verified dramatic classic, on the right. Dramatics are more elongated and narrow compared to dramatic classics who have slight elongation and can look a little bit wider and softer. They are right in the middle of yin and yang, leaning only a little bit towards yang, so they don't have as much sharpness as dramatics. The same pattern can be observed in their faces. Lizzie has a yin influence in her face, with less sharp features compared to Taylor. For example, she has larger and more rounded eyes. She also has a softer essence, not as intense. She is bold and sophisticated in her essence, but not in the regal type of way. I hope this video was helpful. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one, which is going to be on Theatrical Romantic. I'll see you very soon. Bye!